Okay, so here comes the most simple topic of database SQL series. Let's have a look. When you have a result set or group of object, you want to sort them in a particular order. That is exactly what order by does for you. Sometimes you want data to be sorted based on a name. Sometimes you want based on date. Sometimes you based on a numerical value like salary or employee number or things like that. Again, it comes like whether you want it in ascending order or the descending order. Database query provides you a very efficient way of ordering your data. It is your again favorite table employee. Now you will see that this data is not ordered based on any sequence other than yeah, no sequence at all. So you can sort this out based on name if you want to alphabetically sort these uh, this data. You can sort based on the department number as well or the salary. So what is the difference between ascending and descending? If in case you want data to be in ascending order, which means incremental order, you can use ASC as a keyword. In case you want reverse, TESC could be the keyword. Now, when it and this is very smart. When you play with the a date value, date column, this automatically identifies that it has to put an algorithm for dates. If it is name, it goes with the, the alphabets A, B, C, and Z. Then if it is number, obviously it goes with the number. So all those uh, uh, the, the data type classification it does on the columns that you are applying and it can be just based on simple one column or it can be as complex as multiple columns. Let's see something in action. So here comes your database table employee that is unordered. Now I want it to be ordered on numeric number, which I can say employee. I want this in ascending orders. I can run this query again and you will see mistake. So order by is the keyword that you need to use after the result set or the table name. Order by employee number and you will see that these are all ordered in ascending order. If I need to do it based on employee name, so it will again be sorted based on uh, alphabets here. So you can see that uh, it is ordered based on name here. Now you can also use the date column. There you go. So you can do this uh, pretty much with uh, now there could pretty much with every column. Now you can complicate this a little bit if you want to mix this with any other column. So let's say I want to do this on higher rate ascending and employee name ascending. So first column you will notice that it will take the first column and first column it will go it short this alphabetically so after high date it will go this has shortlisted 81 first and then after 81 is shortlisted it's shortlisted based on the employee name here that is how that is how it works so based on name and then uh, based on date and the name so i hope this is pretty straightforward this is very easy to implement let me know if you have any question in the comment section Thanks for watching.